when it, when Amy to do that, but as as you know, my t- my timing can be a little bit sporadic. <laughs> but I've got, I've got my new stopwatch thing here that Diane likes. I like that. I can see that from here too. Woohoo! No, look at that. <laughs> I need one of them big neon. I've been looking at them big neon sign ones. You know, when I get when I get the pain cave sorted out, yeah. so you can see yeah. the counter behind me. Yeah, yeah they're good. <laughs> All right, we're nearly ready. Thirty seconds. Everybody good? Yeah. Anybody broken anything yeah. I need to know about? My sunburns are in a bit. Shut up, oh, yeah. tart. <laughs> Holiday wanker. <laughs> looks like it. Looks like you had a good week now. It was not jealous in the slightest. <laughs> yeah, but it's it pissed it down since he's come back. <laughs> <laughs> it's called karma. Yeah. <laughs> right then, are you ready, die? Yeah, Three. and then. Two, one, go. Right, nice and light. Five minute ramp up again. We'll get up to about RPE four for this one. So it's a it's a very light ramp, the first part. Same drill as before. Five minute ramp, 20 seconds sprint. And then a three minute ramp, 20 seconds sprint, and then a final three minute ramp. And I've tied my stopwatch to the to the desk and I can't reach it. That's <laughs> 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 ignore, ignore the idiot. <laughs> right, just start your peak cadence up now, get it up to about 80. Still nice and light. Should feel like nothing. What if the cadence sensor was working? Yeah, watch my knees there. You're just about to see them. <laughs> right, start the system check. You know the drill. Start with your ankles. Make sure the flex in driving down through the whole base of the foot. Ankles moving, knees nicely tucked in. Legs parallel with the top tube or slightly turning. Hips nice and loose. Rock forward, straight spine, loose elbows, shoulders down, smiley face, give your head a wobble. Right, stick a gear on. Start to bring the effort up now. It's still nice and light. You're still only about RPE, three at best. Feather light touch. Probably about 50% of your FTP if you know what your FTP is. Yeah, mine's that's about where mine is. Hi. Hi now. Get your cadence up now. Get your cadence up to about 85. So I'm on 85. You're watching my knees. Oh, mine's just knocked off as well. You don't want to be going above 55% of your FTP for this first ramp. So if you're bringing your cadence up, your FTPs, your, your power's gone up a bit. You can take a gear back off again. That's fine. We're just trying to get your joints warmed up in this first five minutes. All right, stick another gear on if you need to. If you're not, you're already at your 55% power. Don't go, don't go above RPE 4. So that's slightly above your zone 2. So nice, easy conversation. Should be able to talk. Breathing's easy. No effort. This first five minutes is all about just getting your heart rate going, getting your muscles warmed up, your joints 
lubed. Nice and relaxed. Don't forget your smooth pedaling now. Get it, get it locked in now. It will make the lactate shuttles easier. You all right, Kath? Yes, thank you. Cool, cool. So this is your first one of these. So what I'll do is I'll try and remember to shout out the lower levels for you. Right, I did the video from last week. Right, oh, you're, oh so you know what we're doing. Right, brilliant. Well, so you'll put your name right the name window, the door. Then open the door. Why, right, you'll probably be all right then. Yeah, I forgot to record last week, so you, you did the first week. All uh, right. Uh, well, okay. It was brilliant last week. You won't believe what went on last week because Diane forgot to tell me if you record it. You won't know. <laughs> right, in 15 seconds, we're going to go for the first 20 second max effort. So we're going RPE 9, stick on some gears, at least 100 RPM. Three, two, one, and off you go. 20 seconds hard. As hard as you can go. Make sure you're doing at least 100. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Let your cadence come back down. Bring you back down to 90. Take your gears off to where you started. So we're now ramping another ramp. So you're just picking up where you left off at the end of your five minute ramp. Cadence now 90. RPE should still be four. Sit nice and relaxed. Like me. Again, quick system check. Focus on your pedal action now. Just make sure it's nice and smooth. You're going through all four quadrants, both legs. Using that hamstring, getting that kick over the top, that drag along the bottom, not just the drive down on both legs. Your heart rate should have recovered from that little interval sprint we've just done. It should have settled down to about <coughs> just above. So top end of zone, zone two. We're still at RP4. Right, halfway through, stick a gear on. Let's start to crank it up now. Make sure your cadence stays on 90. We're going to hold 90 throughout this ramp now. One minute to go. So it should, should be somewhere around about RPE 5 now. It's starting to feel a bit harder, so that's 5 out of 10 on the effort level. I think it's still moderate activity. I can't quite see me sheet here. I've put a bottle on it over there. Right, so in 20 seconds, you're going to go for another all out. Exactly the same as before. Max effort, at least 100 RPM. Three, two, one, and off you go. 20 seconds. Well, can everybody's turbos going? So I'm on 105. 
So I go a little bit faster than he did before. And off. Well done. Pick up the ramp where you left off, so take the gears back off. I'll grab my feet. Yeah, so we're in we're in the moderate activity range at the moment. So you should be in five. By the time we finish this, we're gonna be at a six or a seven. So you just be on the out, just on the edge of vigorous on this ramp. Another three minute ramp. Remember we're holding ninety. Two, one, stick a gear on. Hold it there. Another two minutes to go. We're going to stick one more gear on. That should get us somewhere near. So it should be... By the time you finish this, at the end of the three minutes, borderline uncomfortable. Short of breath. Can just about manage a sentence. So you're at the bottom end of that, so you should definitely be able to manage your sentence. We'll be at six at the moment, so that's top end of moderate. You're breathing heavy, but you can hold a short conversation. But it's still somewhat uncomfortable, it says. <laughs> right, stick a gear on. Unless you're already at, uh, at your target. So power-wise, if you're doing FTP, about 75% of your FTP. So if your FTP is 200, you want to be about two. You want to be about 150. Funnily enough, I'm bang on 150, and I can just about do a sentence. It's pretty good this RPE. It works, doesn't it? Twenty seconds. We're going for the last sprint. Maximum effort. Maximum RPM. Three, two, one, go! Come on, give it the beans. See them turbos cranking up. Twenty five to one hundred and fifty per cent your FTP. And off. Well done. Right, you've got two minutes recovery now. Take all the gears off. Take it down to eighty. Remember if you've got a heavy flywheel turbo or smart trainer. You have to let, let the uh, the cadence drop off before you change the gears. As you can hear, I'm just on about a sentence. So I was definitely in seven or eight. And that is the maximum amount of effort I'm doing tonight. Because I don't know if you mentioned it, I'm on rest week. Rest week is truly a wonderful thing. Makes week three a whole lot bearable. So if you do struggle with doing rest weeks, that's the way to approach it. Go nuts in week three. Because it's fine. You've got a week off after that. And that's exactly how it should be. Right, now we've got the lactic builds now. So of the next two threshold sets we're going to do, we're going to take you up 
to your lactic threshold. So the first one's a five minute hold at just under FTP. So you want to be RPE seven, RPE eight. So that's exactly where you've just left off on that ramp. And you're going to hold it with 95 RPM. So we're going a little bit faster. So you might be able to do a, less, a gear less. Right, five seconds. Three, two, one. Off we go. Five Nine, minutes. Ten, eight, so four, RPE 95. Seven. That's bloody hard, RPE 95. Sorry, FTP 95. <laughs> Cadence 95, your, F, your FTP's 7-ish. So you should feel about what he did at the top of the ramp, but you turn your legs over a little faster, so you might be able to knock a gear off to get the same effect. Step away. I have no idea why I've just put the gears on to do this. I don't need to do this. So again, if your FTP is about 200, you want to be aiming for about 190 on your on your power output, RPE 7. So again, borderline uncomfortable, short of breath, and just about manage the sentence. Right, you are one minute in. So today's session. For those of you that missed last week's science lecture, and anybody that's not taken a sneaky peek at the uh, the Zwift uh, workout that I nicked this from, and we get you up to lactic threshold, once you're up there, you'll get a short break, and then we get straight into the lactic sh shuttles, or shuttling. So the idea is we're going just above your threshold, but then when we come off, you're only just below your threshold. So it's not even an active recovery, it's a loaded recovery. So you'll be able to keep it in the same gear, just drop your cadence. This week it's going up a, a notch, so if you can, try and stick an extra gear on to what you used last week. Your body's getting used to this now. Should be starting to work better. It's used to having to deal with consuming lactic acid as a, a fuel source. Because that was the uh, that was the clip anger I left you with at the end of the first week. So what we're training your body to do, lactic acid is actually a sugar. So you can train your body to consume it. Really good for endurance athletes. Really good for short distance power athletes. So you are cons you would normally fatigue and cramp out if you can't flush the lactic acid out as fast as you are creating it. Because you need to make room for the new food coming into your muscles. The idea is you actually start consuming it to get rid of it rather than just flushing it out. Which is why we leave your muscles loaded, but we drop the cadence down so your heart rate can come down recover, but your muscles don't recover. Right, we are about three and a half minutes through nearly. There we go, three and a half minutes. Any questions? Can I go on? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've had a word with coach and he said no. <laughs> all right, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't wish they were all that easy. <laughs> right, so when you get to five and six, the little chimp at the back of your head in your amygdala is gonna start gnawing at you and saying, This is tough, this I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna toss it off and hope he doesn't notice. Ignore it, right? You're only at 60, 65 percent of your workload at that point. You're more than capable of doing this. Right, you will find when you get to the last two, it'll feel easy. It's just around that five and six, you have a bit of a wobble. Right, that's your, that's your fight and flight running out. Right, so this is where the lions come in. 
the di we're all here because we were ones that could go further and run faster. So whatever was chasing us and eating our ancestors, we survived because our fight and flight was better. And I actually use it. Mark? Yes? I thought the higher the cadence, the more you flush the lactic acid out. You do, but we're, that's why we're holding it at 95. So we're not going to high high cadence, we're at the top end of comfortable. Right, try to take the gears off, bring it back down. You've got three minutes recovery now. <laughs> So when we're under load, we're at 95. So that's the top end of your sweet spot, right? But you are putting a lot of pressure on. So you're hitting it hard, you're getting your heart rate up, you're working those muscles hard. When we knock it off down to 80, right? Because you're not turning your legs over, you still need to turn over to above 80 to flush lactic acid out. So normally when we do a recovery, we're about 80 to 85 but we take the gears off as well, so you're not working the muscle. So anything you're doing with your muscle is just pumping it off. When you're working it at high load, <coughs> you're still putting lactic acid in there. So it's almost like, uh, you know, the strength sessions we do where we do lower cadence, but loaded. They really do fill your muscles up. That's why you can only hold low cadence sweet spot for so long, because that really does fill up your... I've, I've noticed it riding. If I'm at low cadence, putting out lots of power, yeah. my legs just burn like crazy. I yeah, well, that's the lactic going, acid. Building yeah. the cadence up. So that's what we're doing. We're giving your heart rate a chance to recover so you can go again, but we're not letting you flush your lactic acid out. Right. 30 seconds, and we're back on it again. No, we're not. Sorry. Another one and a half minutes. Are you teasing us? I was, sorry. I don't like doing that. <laughs> Much. <laughs> Bluff. <laughs> anybody, anybody, anybody who's old like me remember Call My Bluff? Yeah. Where they had the yeah. true and the bluff cards. <laughs> Yeah, yeah that, that was it. That was a bluff. <laughs> right, so the last push, you need to be about 120% your FTP, RPE 9. So that's kind of just under what you were doing for the sprints, but we're going to go for three minutes. That's why you've just had a decent rest. We're busting through your lactic threshold now. And we are going in 20 seconds. It's going to be an uncomfortable three minutes. I'm not selling this to you, am I, this week? <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> right. Three, two, one, and go. Right, bring it up. FTP 95 again. So you're at the top end of your sweet spot. Get yourself loaded up so that your power is about 120, but it feels like an RPE 9. It's difficult to tell when you're just getting going, but you wouldn't expect to be able to hold this for more than about 10 minutes if you had to. Maybe 15 at a push. Should be painful. Right, quick system check. Get your pedaling right. Just focus on one leg. I'm going to distract you for two minutes. So get that drive down. Then bring in the scrape. The pull up on the kick over. Focus on one leg only. Doesn't mean the other one's taking a rest. Right, now switch to the other leg. Same again. Drive down. Great. Pull. 
think. Now bring them both in. Try and do them both at the same time. Focus on both legs. Get that little bit of flex in your ankle as you drive down. Once you kick it in, you'll notice straight away your, your power jumps up a bit or your cadence jumps up, one of the two. All right, one minute left to go. Take your body position. Just drum your fingers on your, your bars. <coughs> Bring your shoulders down. Pull your eyebrows apart. Don't see any monobrows. Nice, loose, relaxed face. Don't want to see any pain faces. Don't want anybody to look like they're a cat's bottom. What's that other one people do? They pull the teeth back <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> 20 seconds. There you go. I told you I'd distract you. Last 10. Keep it going. You get a minute's rest at the end of this and then we're straight into it. Three, two, one, hand off. That's it, well done. Take your gears off. We've got a minute here. <coughs> Breathing under control, drop your cadence down. Make sure you get a quick drink. Ooh. I'll just get my popcorn out. <coughs> Thirty seconds. So you've got a minute on, a minute off. Keep the same gears on. Be a minute on and your minute off. Target ninety-five on. Target eighty off for your recovery. So yeah, target eighty off for your recovery. Ten seconds to go. Target RP is nine. So it's exactly what you've just been doing. Maybe a bit harder. Three. Two, one, go. And we're off. <coughs> to get your cadence up to 95, don't go above 95. Because all that will happen is you'll blow your heart rate. And that's not the objective of this game. Not that far above your FTP anyway, so you're aiming for about 110, 120% of your FTP. <coughs> Difference is you're not going to get a proper rest. And we've got 10 sets of these to do. I can put that one down now. Nice and relaxed. That's gone quick. You've got five seconds to go. Sorry, three. Two, one, right, let your cadence roll down. <laughs> so leave it loaded, let your cadence come down to 80. So RPE wise, it should be feel like it's a sixth. So you're still putting a decent amount of effort in there. You're on the edge of vigorous, you're at the top end of moderate. <clears throat> Number one done. Another nine to go. <laughs> why, why am I sweating like this? I'm on rest week. I'm not supposed to sweat on rest week. Right, 10 seconds. Get yourself ready. Get yourself focused. Get ready to get your smooth pedaling in. Three, two, one, go. So I'm, if you need cadence, just watch my knees and bang on 95.
It's round again tonight. That's it. Well done. Hang in there. Try and keep your form good. Try and keep your pedaling smooth. Don't waste time bouncing around. Don't waste energy. Sorry, energy bouncing around. <coughs> Got to look good. Five, three, two, one. Let it roll down. <coughs> So on the plus side, there's only one more week of this to go. <laughs> oh dear, it's gone quiet. <laughs> Just give yourself, give your head a wobble, get yourself nice and relaxed. <laughs> Don't waste energy being tense. Your smooth pedaling is just as important in your recovery. Not that you're getting much of a recovery. Ten seconds. You are getting a decent amount of rest, even though it's loaded. So it's more than enough time to get your heart rate under control. Right, two, one, off you go. Get it back up to 95. Right, I'm on 95. Guys, it's much easier being able to do this when you can breathe and talk at the same time. Maybe I ought to toss it off every week. It's like being on holiday. I'm going to suffer next week. That's it, nice and smooth. Everybody's looking solid there. Well done. Brilliant. Make sure your cadence is bang on 95. If you go too fast, it won't work. If you're too slow, it won't work. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, and off. Bring it back down again. Try and get your breathing under control. Just keep an eye on your heart rate. So bring your two to one breathing in now. So that's, if you count to three breathing in, you count to six going out. If you count to two breathing in, you count to four going out. So we discussed all the respiratory system last week as well. So upshot is don't pant. It's, heavy, it's controlled breathing, so it's a nice, deep, controlled breath in, a nice, slow, controlled breath out. Use your tummy. Use your diaphragmatic breathing. You need to be training that as endurance athletes anyway, even short-distance athletes. Increase your lung capacity. Right, three, two, one, off we go. Take it back up to 90. Number four. So I'm starting to look out across the reserve and there's movement in the far corner. It looks like the lions have woken up. I think we're all right now, but I think we're going to be, I think we're going to be in trouble for the next one. Yeah, they're definitely up. Looks like they've had a rough night last night as well. They're looking hungry. They've got the munchies. Two, one, and off. Roll it back down again. Get your recovery. Probably going to have to put a stint in on the next one. Don't be complacent. I used the first two as a sighter last week just to pick out who was the weak one. Fortunately, we had some Donny Try people with us and it picked them off fairly early. Oh. 
So make sure your cadence is down. Get under control. Get your breathing under control. Nice and relaxed. Get yourself ready for number five. Don't forget your chimp's going to come into play now. So just watch out for him telling you to back off and toss it off. Three, two, one, off you go. Bring it up. Get it back up to 95 quickly. You want to make sure you're at the front of this pack. No flicking people's gears as you go past either. That's not sporting. Watch the front, Donny Try. <laughs> Unless it's Donny Try. <laughs> Well, there's going to be nobody to raise a steward's inquiry anyway. <laughs> I was kind of hoping they were going to give him indigestion. Right, 20 seconds to go. Oh, there's one at Young that's just coming up behind. Just watch out. Hold it. I think he's showing off a bit. Hang in there, keep it good. Three, two, one, and off. Wind it back down again, they've given up. Circle back. Remember, drop your cadence down to 80. Again, if you watch my knees, just not the moment, because I'm still up about 90. That's it on 80 now. One of the benefits of having it loaded is it slows down quicker. Halfway through. Breathing should be back under control now. One minute, a 60-60 interval. One minute would be more than enough. But we're doing it loaded. So, should be just about coming back down. Five seconds and we're off. Two, one, quickly get it up. Right, they're coming on mass. They're making a big push now. They're not mucking about. They're right up behind us. Hold it. We're pacing them at the moment. We're just holding distance. Don't ease off. That's it, well done. Get your form nice and even. Nice and rock solid on the bike. Relax your face. Give your head a wobble if that helps. Nearly there. Keep it going. 15 seconds to go. We've got this. Stop showing your pain face. They'll pick up on it. Three. Two, one, he's off. They've all peeled off. Okay, make sure your cadence is back down. Get a quick drink. Relax your shoulders. Get yourself nice and loose. Nice, relaxed breathing. Get your diaphragmatic breathing and get that heart rate down. You don't want your heart rate to be a limiting factor on this one. Right, that's six done. Number seven next. Hopefully you've got your chin pacified. You're over halfway. Three, two, one. Right, quick, quick, quick. They're coming on strong now. Get that up to 95 quickly. That's it, bang on. Spot on, look at that. Everybody's rock solid now. Hey, up. There's one of the lions got Debs. When did that happen? I'd say I'll know at this point, but actually that's a, that's a free <coughs> buy for rest of you now.
20 seconds to go. Nice and relaxed. There's still a couple of the young ones chasing up behind. Let's watch out for them. <laughs> Two, one, and off. That's it. Bring it back down, get your breathing back under order. Right, the good news is two of the lions are still eating Debs. But the rest of the pack hasn't got a look in, so they're gonna have to come after you. You watch Debs suddenly reappear. Yeah, that was the good news. The bad news is the hippos in play. So if the lions disappear, we're in trouble. It's because the hippo is coming. Number eight next. You've got three to survive. This ought to be how they did the age groups. You get, you get a lot more people spectating. <laughs> uh, and three. off you go. Right, they're on. They're on us and they're coming fast. I think they're a bit pissed off. They didn't get they didn't get a look in on the last one. Hold it. Keep it turning over, keep it smooth. Now like cadence. You drop your cadence, you're gonna to start to drop back. No reason to change gear now. You've done this is number eight. You can do this. You're still only to about 80% of your capacity. Keep it going. Last 15. Nice and strong. Try and regulate your breathing as well while you're under load. Use that diaphragmatic breathing. Three, two, one. Ease off. Right, that's eight done. Two more to go. That hippo was getting awfully close. I think the lions are going to be a bit wary on the last one. Can I ask something on a different topic? <laughs> the, uh, is the National Cycle Route 2021 from London down to the South Coast? Does anyone know where I can get a book or something like that rather than the online cycle route to plan a trip? Um, I would look on... Uh... <sighs> Is it commute? It's probably on there. Basic commute. Commute app. Oh, most of the cycle routes have been programmed in by people. There's one called the. Uh, it's the French one. Uh, the Green Avenue. Yeah, that might, that that'll do it. Right, three seconds. Get yourselves ready. And go. Get it up quickly. Remember, them hippos accelerate fast. Right, the good news is the lions aren't coming after us. Bad news is the hippo is. And he's gaining. Don't you have to reappear? Yeah. You don't get that on the Trans Pennine Trail, do you? Nope. Well, <laughs> maybe around one well. <laughs> Come on, you're over halfway. Hold it. Don't be tempted to go any faster, just means you'll burn out quicker. Hold it. Right, he's holding pace with us now. We've got him. As long as we hold this, we're good. Ten seconds. Keep it going. Don't ease off. You ease off now, your hippo food. Three, two, one, and off. That's it. <sighs> Just going back, that the, the Green Avenue, it, uh, it's got too big a detour around Gatwick. It goes off to the east, and I'm wanting something more southerly and direct. Yeah. Oh. The other thing is go on, uh, see if you can find a Facebook forum for it. You know, so, uh, the cycling networks or yeah. cycling holidays. <laughs> Yeah. 
Because if they don't know the answer, they'll know someone who does. Yeah. You find that with the motorhome community. If you ask a question, there's somebody on there that knows something. Yeah. Yeah. And 20 people ought to tell him he's wrong. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, one, off we go. <laughs> or it would have been better orange. <laughs> right, last one. That's gone quick, hasn't it? Hold it. Don't get complacent. I think that hippo was taking the mickey last time. Right, he's still catching us. He was. Keep it locked in. Hold it. Don't be tempted to go any faster. Keep it going. That's it. 20 seconds to go. Sorry, 20 seconds now. Hold it in there. Everybody good? Yeah? Yeah. yeah good. Nice and solid. Hold it. Legs should be really grumbling now. Five seconds. Right, this hippo isn't laying off. We're going to have to go for another 10 seconds. Hold it. Another 10 seconds. Keep the same pace. Right, he's still catching. Two, one and off. Well done. Yeah, I reckon that, I reckon that, that hippo's been doing lactic thresholds. Oh. I'm gonna go and check, I'm gonna go and check the YouTube stats, see if anybody's dialed in from Botswana or right, drop it to 80, you're still on your real loaded recovery. <coughs> Well done. You're all looking a bit too comfortable. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> yeah, but it just shows you can do it. Yeah. Never underestimate what you can do. Your body's very good at telling you what you can't do. It's not always as good telling you what you can do. Two, one. Right, just check a few gears off. Keep your cadence on 80. Nice and feather light. Give yourself a chance to get fully recovered. Then we'll do a couple of pedal drills. Because that's always a fun thing to do after you've been doing uh, lactic threshold. The reason I do it with this one is because you are more likely to expose any bad pedal techniques because your legs are fatigued. So you are going to clonk, you are going to be less smooth. So it's good to work on it. It's good to know that it does happen because then you can focus on it when you're out on your rides with the club. Right, so just pick your cadence back up to about 85 now. Same gears. Oh. Right, stick a gear on, but hold it to 85. It's going to give something for your legs to bite on. Be comfortable. RP3, so zone two. Once your heart rate comes down, if it hasn't already, my heart rate's down because I'm on rest week. <laughs> so if you want to guide, you should be about just under 50% your FTP, maybe under, sorry, yeah, 50% your FTP. So you're on 200. About 100, you're on 180, about 90. You can do the maths. So if you're doing an easy run, your breathing should be like that now. You've had two minutes to recover. You're all fit athletes, so two minutes should be more than enough to get your heart rate from zone four or five down into zone two. Right then. Let's get ready to kick a kick a pedal out. So you'll kick your left leg out first. 
I'm assuming everybody's got clips or toe pages or something on. Right. In five seconds, kick your left leg out. We're just going to pedal with the right leg. Two, one, off you go. Nice and relaxed. Keep your leg out the way of your spokes. I don't want any paperwork. Nice and controlled. It shouldn't be any clonking. Keep it nice and smooth. If you're starting to lose it, don't chase it. Because if you chase it, you'll just end up pedaling faster and faster and clonking more and more. It's actually sometimes easier if you're losing it is to put another gear on. Nice and relaxed. Two minutes, two seconds to go. One and off. Right. Bring your other leg back in. Just have 30 seconds. So while you're on this 30 seconds, nice and slow, about 80 RPM. Really focus on your, your quadrants, particularly the leg we're about to work. And you kick out that right leg, straight on it with the left leg, and you're already going through the quadrants properly. Three, two, one. Kick your right leg out, straight into it. You will notice you've got one leg that's worse than the other. So you want to be aiming for about 75, 80 on your cadence for this. If you're on a smart trainer and you haven't got the cadence meter on your pedals, your cadence probably halves. It's only picking up one pulse. So aim for 35 to 40. Right, two, one, bring the other leg back in. Nice and easy. Now right, we'll just do one more round of that. Believe it or not, it's good for you. So if you are doing any Zwift rides, try to remember to structure your rides as well. So your first five to 10 minutes when you're riding on Zwift, keep it nice and easy. Keep it nice and light. Get your breathing under control. Get your pedaling nice. Get your body relaxed. Get everything warmed up. Same when you're coming at the end. Finish your route, but then do five to 10 minutes just spinning down nice and low. Do a few pedal drills. Don't come off the bike panting. You know, you've just finished a sprint for the finishing line at the end of one of the, the routes. Give yourself five, 10 minutes to get yourself relaxed. What happens if you're falling off the bike at the end of the race? Um, get back on. <laughs> <laughs> and just turn your legs over because it, you will, you, if you don't, otherwise you're just leaving all that acid in your muscles and it will... It will prevent your muscles from recovering. It yeah. will cause lots of other problems as well. Just lay on your back like a beetle and <laughs> off your legs. Right, three, two, one. Kick your leg out again. Come in with what we started with. Doesn't matter really. We've had a plenty of rest there. Nice and light. Yeah, I felt sorry for you then. I'll give you a bit longer break in between. Nice and smooth. See it very good. I can't hear any clonking. I suspect you've all muted, so I can't hear. Right, two, one. Bring the other leg back in. Just turn them over nice and relaxed. How did that feel? Easier than the first week? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> More sweat. So the idea is that particularly week three and week four is you should be able to stick at least one more gear on to up, up your, your power. This is actually a really good one for improving your FTP too. Right, kick your left, the other leg out now. So anybody who's doing short TT style races in big gears, low cadence, or anybody that's doing uh, standard or longer will benefit from this. So it pretty much covers all triathletes because your, your sprint and super sprint are pretty much a TT ride anyway. And put the leg back in. Sorry, I have a shot then slightly. Never mind. No, I feel it. 
<laughs> I've got to have one bad bit of timekeeping, or Dan's got nothing to moan about. <laughs> right, kick the other leg out. Hey. Oh, oh, sorry, we've done two. We? <laughs> oh, it's all gone to pot now. Right, just bring your cadence down, take your gear off. We'll just wind it in now. You don't fancy a third set? No. Oh, Debs is back. <laughs> must, have... <laughs> must have spit her out. <laughs> we thought you were uh, by one of the lions. <laughs> tough stuff, Deb. She got rich. She fought it off. <laughs> Yeah, it bit bit my leg off below the knee, but I walked it off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right, just bring it, yeah, bring yourself to a halt now. Three, two, one, and then come up. You can stop your timers now. Don't forget to save it. All right, so just drop that heel down. Okay, which leg you do first? Any runners out there, just be careful when you're just starting this. I know I say it every week, but if you've got any tight Achilles or plants or anything like that, just be careful with the first part of this. Just ease into it. Don't Mark, I have, to go, I have to go. My engineer for my bike is here. Righty-o. Thank you. See you all later. later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Uh, switch it over. Oh. On to the Two other leg. Just put my top right. on. Oh. <laughs> right, I'm sorry, I'm doing the Zoom class. Right, no, there you no are. Right, I'm here. <laughs> oh. right, let me just Did you really say I put my top on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, I'm on now we know like <laughs> it back out. I've gone off Zoom, so I'll put my top on now. <laughs> Let me, let me mute the cap. <laughs> you, you'll be getting censored on YouTube. <laughs> why, why, why? <laughs> Lastly, I've come to that conclusion. <laughs> and it's recorded. Then, come on off the bike, kick your shoes off before anybody else gets the urge to strip off. Uh, normal drill. In fact, no, let's start with a forward fold first. So nice and light, knees soft, just go down. You can hold on to your elbows if you want. Bend your knees as much as you need to to try and get your chest as close to your quads as you can. So all we're on about doing is just releasing that lower back. Cyclists have terrible problems with the lower back. So just give your bum a little wiggle if you want. I'm not going to say what I went and done Monday because that just got Phil all excited. <laughs> you, Phil, the, the other, the other Phil. Hello. <laughs> Deep breath in, roll up. Yeah, I did a classic Adrian. I said, "Look, rock your hips from side to side and play with it." <laughs> he just that's too much for Phil. <laughs> right then, pick left leg, left leg up, knees together, drive your hips forwards, nice and upright. Push your hips forwards. You'll feel your your quad engage. Deep breath in, give it one more push. Really feel that quad kick in. Right, don't let that knee drop. Grab hold of your foot, just bring it up on the inside. We'll do a semi tree. So if you can hold on to your leg, you can cheat. Just push your, your knee out to one side. You don't need to physically push it, just enough to open up your hips. Make sure you're nice and upright. And back, change legs. Get the other one up. Set it up properly again to so get your knees together. Can't see because I've got a desk in the way now. If you need to hold on to your bike, that's fine. Make sure your hips are facing forwards and just push your hips forwards and you'll just feel that quad kicking. 
hips off nice and upright. So pull your shoulders back, chin up. One last push. Same again, don't let that leg come down. Just reach through. Pull your foot up, foot up, knee out to the side. Again, try and keep nice and upright. Keep your hips facing forwards. And release. Right, let's just do the hamstrings now. We'll isolate it. So, that's it. you see me there. Legs crossed over. Your back leg's straight. Knee locked out. Just feel your weight. You can use your legs for support. Don't close your eyes. So breathe in, and when you breathe in, you're under tension. Breathe out, release the tension. Let the muscle release, and you'll come a little bit further down. That's your stretch reflex. It's there to protect your muscles and ligaments. It will try to hold you. So when you're doing your stretching at home, because I know you all do your stretching at home, try and stretch a minute, because it can take up to a minute for your stretch reflex to kick in or kick off. Roll up, same again, change the legs. Walk that leg out, back down again. It's a good one, this, for the end of when you've been biking and running because you don't have to roll around on the floor doing pigeon or anything like that. It's not a perfect IT band stretch, but it's, it's better than not doing one. And it's a good isolated hamstring stretch as well. Breathe in. Fold a bit further. And reach up. One arm out in front, thumb down. Just pull it across your body. And if you want, just drop your shoulder down and look across your shoulder. You just get a bit more of a stretch. So if you're breathing on this one, as you breathe in, just lengthen your spine. As you breathe out, just try and pull that shoulder a little bit further across. And release, just shake your arms up, same on the other side. So arm out straight, thumb down, just pull it across your body. And then drop your shoulder down, look across it. Out, right, right. Feet shoulder width shoulder apart. apart. <laughs> Grab hold of your elbow and then just lean across. So it's another two for one. You know the drill with this one. You should feel it all the way down your lats and down your, your triceps, so from your elbow down to your hip. Remember this one, we're leaning over, we're not pushing the hips to one side. And back up, shake your arms off, change sides. And over we go. And release. Shake your hands on shoulders. Shoulders around. And back again. And forwards again. And back again. Just have a good shake. Give your head a wobble. Well done. Thank you, Mark. Thank you very much. Thank you. Really good one, Mark. Thank you. Right, one more week of that, and then then, oh, I've got, okay. then I've got the last one that'll take us up to the end of uh, to the summer season starting. So the next block we do after this one will be the one that takes us up to the end. So right. I think it's a six weeker. I need to check, but no, well done. I could definitely look so tonight. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate right. it. Is is Mick still on? Yeah. And Diane, right? We've had the offer that we can use the upstairs in the main boat store for Monday core, if you're interested. Brilliant. Oh, oh my yes. gosh. Yes, 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 yes. Right, so what I'll do next Monday is we'll go up and have a look at it after core Yeah. and just see what it's like. Because I want to make sure everybody's happy mm. if we're going to go up there. Because it might be a bit dusty and it might be a bit cold, but they're going to seal the floor so that we shouldn't get any concrete dust. Yeah. But what I'm thinking is I can open it up because we... Yeah. Because of my coaching level, I can do up to 32 people. 
yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, I can open it up then. And if I get sort of leaves there as well, that yeah. gives me another light. It'll so, be cooler, that's for sure, because that room's just hot and sweaty, isn't it? Yeah. It, it is, yeah. Yeah. Jim, we're going to get some we'll, cheap we'll, we'll for it, it. Yeah, we'll have a look at it, and then we'll see what we can do. I'm just going to work out that I can still do the zoomies up there. So I've, I've got a TV I can take up there. I've got the sound system. I've just got to make sure we can get a network cable up there to plug everything in, and then we're, yeah, we're yeah. good. So I might do a test run. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, 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 Thanks,